Hey guys, welcome back to The Binding of Isaac with me, your host McLaffy Taffy. We will random and we will get Kane. Fantastic. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it could be a hot minute before I get back to the challenge runs. Uh, that said, each run is inherently difficult on it, of its own, of its own fruition, of its own inclination, in its own right. Um, I started off Spelunky last night. The commentary on that, as I went back and listened to it, is absolutely abysmal. But it comes from the discomfort of not knowing the game uh, super well, and not—I mean, it's the same problem that I have with Don't Starve, where I just—I find myself wanting to talk and converse and be like, "Oh yeah, well, this is where I'm going to pick up the thing and do the thing, and with that thing." And instead, uh, ultimately, all that ends up happening is me going, "So I'm playing Spelunky, derp, 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 er, er, I, er, er. Oh man, that was close. I can't believe I took some dumb damage there." So anyway, I'm playing Spelunky, you know, so, um, we're working on, man, is it just me or does Isaac seem loud? Let's go ahead and back that off, just a skadoodle, just a teeny, easy, easy, teeny, easy bit, and let's capture a little bit of Facebook chatting at me. <clears throat> so, uh, I will try my best, Sister Maggie, that's actually pretty useful. Thank you, Monster Manuel, for one room, and then, uh, please, uh, do insist on being completely useless for all the rest. Um... So yeah, the, the Spelunky was, uh, it, it was the same problem I had with Isaac, where I just, there was so much going on when I first started playing it, uh, and so much for me to try to get used to and comprehend that I, I could not, in, in, in any sort of good conscience or good faith, uh, try to do even halfway decently uh, in the in the commentary aspect of it, so hopefully as I get a little more relaxed with that, that will calm down and get a little bit better. Uh, you're probably wondering to yourself, Taffy, why you no do the challenge runs anymore? It's the only reason I care for you. Uh, and if so, weird, uh, sort of Spanish-Italian-French-Mongoloid hybrid fantasy fan that lives in my head, um, if you are in fact wondering that, uh, the, then part of the reasons I'm not getting back to the challenge runs all that quickly is because of the, the mere fact that school is starting soon. Hey Taffy, you can't act like you were surprised school's starting soon, you've known it's been coming all summer. Yeah, but I am surprised about the fact that I have a presentation due on the first day. Uh, so I don't even get the the, uh, uh, the grace period of having the first week to work on stuff. I actually received my first assignment via email, so uh, I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I meant to do a lot of work this summer. I meant to do a lot of work this summer that kept me fresh. Why am I not using Tammy's head, or Guppy's head? I meant to do a lot of work this summer that kept me fresh, and kept me kind of in the in the zone for doing, uh, for doing advertising work, and instead the channels blew up. And that uh, basically threw me off kilter, and so I ultimately did not accomplish, uh... Speaking of not accomplishing, I need to calm my tits here. Instead of accomplishing a lot of the things that I said I would do that would basically make me a better advertising copywriting type guy, uh, I, I basically spent the entire summer working on the channel in the hopes... There, jeez. All I ever see when I see uh, Guppy stuff is like, oh, I'm one third, one third of the way to cat form. So I have to remind myself to use the thing that makes me powerful. There we go. See, that's one less spider to fight, and all I had to do was stand there. So, um, so yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm nervous about the fact that I have not really kept up on my sort of mental workout regimen. I'm nervous about the fact that I just have to go back to school because that place owned me for nine months, and that was last year when I basically, that was last year when I basically quit the channel. Um, you know, not like an angry, like, screw you, Rob, I'm out of here, but okay, we have one bomb, multiple hearts, ah, screw it, I'm going, I'm going for it. I'm leaving. Hey, in and out and under a half heart. Not bad. Um, you know, it wasn't like, a, yeah, Rob and I didn't break up last year. It was just one of those things where we were at 30, we weren't even at 30,000 subs. We were at like 10,000, 15,000 subs. And we were just like, oh, well, this YouTube thing is cool, but I got other stuff I got to do. So, uh, so yeah, it, you know, now, now it's this thing where we're working on it, not necessarily as a full-time gig, but it's got potential. It's got the potential to be something awesome. Um, so, let's just get rid of, yeah, as I say, this just becomes a shitty room if we can just get rid of the Widow. It's got the potential to be something awesome. Uh, we're already at a place where I think if, quote-unquote, if we just did YouTube full-time, 
we could ultimately, I would be making more money than I would have been waiting tables when I quit. Uh, uh, uh I don't know, this is interesting. I love Demon Baby, but I don't know that I love him at two hearts. And I love the Forget Me Now. I love the Forget Me Now. We're gonna do that. It's just a, it, it, the the floor is not gonna get more more easy than the than the cellar part two. Uh, Tammy's head is fine and good and everything, but this gives us. I mean, ultimately, was poison bombs worth doing the entire floor again? Maybe not, but it'll all depend on what we get from our boss drop. And there's always the uh, off chance that we could end up picking up something from. Uh, the shop that would make things worthwhile. We could get a crazy amount of consumables. We could get a trinket that was worthwhile. See, this is why I need to learn these games that I'm playing. I think ultimately I'm going to start visiting wiki pages because, uh, I, I, you know, not for anything like game breaking. Like, I'm not going to come in. I, I don't come into Isaac and spam Biz Snap every time I can get Brimstone. Uh, Biz Snap. I don't spam uh, Brim Snap every time I get Brimstone. But, uh, you know, ultimately I feel like uh, an enhanced knowledge of the game actually. Uh, provides for more colorful commentary and a situation where I can, you know, talk about things more knowledgeably. But, uh, so yeah, I, 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 you know, school, I'll level with you. There is, if there's a chance that I could do YouTube instead of advertising, the, the hierarchy goes like this. I was working a restaurant job because I had a theater degree and I needed money and there's no money in acting. Oh, Jiminy Christmas. Um, I created the YouTube channel with Rob. Uh, you, one, one might say delusionally, uh, because I feel that way about most people who create YouTube, YouTube channels where they say, I'm gonna be a huge YouTube star and make tons and tons of money like CNNers and uh, Tom Syndicate. Um, I b Hello, ladies. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, wasn't worth it for three cents, and we'll bomb our way out. We picked up Lord of the Pit, uh, which is, uh, the ability to fly doesn't give us spectral tears like, um... Spirit of the Night, but it does in fact give us uh, a slight speed increase, so that's super duper cool. And we'll use a key on the library here and pick up Derp. We'll get rid of Telepathy for Dummies uh, in, in lieu of the Book of Sin. Who knows what awesomeness that might produce, or what flat out mediocrity. So yeah, I, I, I don't want to sit here and say, oh, well I was incredibly judgmental of people who created YouTube channels, but I was incredibly judgmental of people who created YouTube channels and said, I'm going to be a super duper star and I'm going to make a, a throne completely out of gold and diamonds and on that throne I will sit and reign on my uh, interwebs dominion and my plebes and serfs and fans and, and indentured servants that will bring me Coco. Um, Coco, like the, the 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 hot chick that was dating Ice Tea, not like the drink. Although you know, Coco bringing Coco, that actually started off as the drink in my head, but then it became funnier if it became a big-breasted stripper-looking woman. Um, and I used to judge those people, not not judge those people. But I used to say, you know what, you're kind of delirious. Uh, but I've always known since the beginning of time that I could make Rob into a star. And I know that means, that mean that, that sounds weird to say that out loud. It's like, oh, what do you mean like a star? Like, he's gonna have to drive around in limos everywhere? But I, I knew it would not be hard to pitch Rob's personality. Uh, it came as a surprise to me that people seemed to enjoy my company so much. Like, that actually shocked me. Um, story time was something that Rob had to coax out of me. So, uh, I, I've always felt like the place that the channel is now was the place it was always meant to be, as far as the Mr. Wiffles channel go goes. Um, I've always felt that that was where we were going to end up. And I actually have always felt that we, we, we're, we're going to be bigger. I, I believe that we are going to uh, produce another surge, the likes of which mankind has probably seen several times, but not frequently. Let, let's not sit here and pretend like it's a ton of people that have done what we're doing. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I've, I I created YouTube with Rob, thinking that we could get him to the to the mountaintop, and I still feel that way. Come, dude, you there in the middle? You there, music lover? Um, I still feel like Rob and I can get to the mountaintop as far as like making this YouTube you know, the, these couple of YouTube channels into something ridiculously special. Um. But now, you know, now I'm halfway in, like, I, I went to advertising because I, I, YouTube wasn't panning out for us. 
we were always being told like, oh yeah, you guys have great content by other YouTubers, but then nobody was su subscribing. And part of that was that the, we, we came in during the death of COD. Uh, but part of our success now is, is recognizing that Minecraft is taking on the role that COD used to dominate as the sort of king of all recorded content. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're in a play- ooh, we're cane, so we can't get bad pills. We can get neutral pills. Balls of steel, not a neutral pill. An excellent pill. Um, let's go ahead and pop this priestess card on whoever is- No, we're not gonna pop- eh, okay, let's do it right here. If nothing else, it sped up the fight and separating those out. That was a, probably a total waste of the priestess card, but that's alright. At some point, we're gonna come up with something else and we're gonna wish we had it back. These are moving slowly enough that I feel like I'm gonna focus on the one bomb at a time. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 It's nice when you can fly and make airplane noises. That makes you feel doubly safe. So, um, so yeah, I'm, I, 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 everybody in their, everybody, everybody in their, in their logical mind says, Taffy, for God's sakes, man, finish graduate school, go into advertising and do YouTube as a hobby. Um, and that, that makes sense. That's the thing that I should do. But if, if YouTube were to take off, then I could work from home. I could stay with my family. We wouldn't have to leave Richmond, which is where all of our mutual friends and family members are. Uh, you know, the the average advertising creative has to move. I want to say on uh, on sort of a median rate of about six times in his career. I don't necessarily want uh, Grayson to have to make friends six different times in six different cities. Uh, my wife doesn't want to leave the East Coast, but we could end up anywhere from London to San Diego. Um, so yeah, I, I will give YouTube my all, and if it even looks like this will become a plausible thing, if it even looks like such a situation that, that Rob and I were like, wow, we're, we're talking about some serious uh, actual grown-up money here, like buy a house and health insurance type money, um, then I will give this 100%, uh, and I'm, I'm certainly not going to stop during the school year now. This is my, my quote-unquote part-time job during the school year is to... To build the cave because the cave is our, 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 you know, we've already seen the floor shift under Call of Duty once, so now we just want to uh, make sure that if for one day, you know, everybody wakes up, every 15 year old on the planet wakes up and goes, Minecraft's dumb, I decided last night. We're like, oh, okay, well, we got all this other stuff, and like, yay, other stuff's not dumb. And we just have this other place to fall back, which is the cave, and we just be like, hey, everybody, we've got an awesome channel full of awesome stuff. We collected it, like like little antique figurines of clowns that are crying. That actually kind of looks like a clown that's crying. It's not, it's Abel. Abel's been showing up in a lot of my gameplay recently, uh, even during a fun run I did yesterday where I was just like, I don't want you, Abel. And he was just like, whatever, I'm coming along. Not the best item. I don't know. It's a little bit of extra damage from across the room. So be it, I suppose. So yeah, I, uh, portable slot machine. I haven't seen it in a long time, and I don't know that that's a bad thing. I'm gonna leave everything for now on the off chance that like, uh, eh, whatever. Um, I'll probably grab that. I'll probably grab that uh, spirit heart on the way back. So, um, so yeah, you know, I, I, I don't know. I. This is I love doing this and I love working on this channel with Rob and if I'm if I could be so fortunate as to turn my my career or my yeah I guess career is the right word career into a hobby then that uh, is of the utmost interest to me um, so yeah I'm nervous about school starting again because I don't feel like I have the laser focus that I had before that doesn't mean that I'm not focused that doesn't mean that I'm gonna go in there and and wash out and have to ring the bell and walk the walk of shame uh, a whole bunch of like kind of Spec Ops, Navy SEALs, advanced training type stuff there all of a sudden, but... Hello! Wait a second. Is this cat form? Methinks this is cat form. Yes. Yes. Yeah! Um... Let's do this just to be safe. Alright, uh... Interesting enough. It's a nifty turn of events. So now we can fly and we're kind of OP. Uh, which is great. We're also, uh, we've leveled the playing field though by re reducing the number of uh, regular hearts we have to zero. I all of a sudden feel the uh, instinctive need to find the secret room. Which apparently is in neither of those places. So we'll try over here and then I'll stop wasting bombs if this is it. Yeah. 
Uh, one up. Sure. Why not? That's actually not the worst thing ever. And I will definitely go back to the shop and buy that spirit heart now. So, uh, yeah. That, that was a, a long... I didn't, I didn't mean to go off on that rant. I just meant to say that I'm not doing challenge runs because I'm a little bit nervous about the fact that one of the most intense grad schools on the planet is starting up again soon, and I attended. So, uh, there will probably be a handful of vanilla runs until I can figure things out uh, personally with my scheduling and how much uh, time it's going to take to get everything done. I'm glad I wanted to go in there. Book of Shadows, is that going to be more useful to me than the Book of Sins? Yes, I believe it will. I believe it will. Okay, this room would be an absolute nightmare if not for the fact that we could fly. Uh, that room is almost certainly going to end up... Hey, Mom's Pearl actually increases our chance of spirit heart drops. Uh, yeah, that, that room's uh, not not instant death, but I would have gotten my ass bounced around. I got in a, in a room layout just like this uh, not too far back where uh, I absolutely got murdered as Isaac with a good setup too. And uh, I just, there was nothing to be done. I just was absolutely pummeled to death because I couldn't get out. And I had no no recourse. I had no uh, ability to fight back. And it was sad, and I was sad. And, oh, oh. There we go. Uh, let's, let's go see who our mini-boss is. Yeah, you ain't got nothing, bomber man. For right now, I'm just kind of, I'm sending flies in on him because, yeah, why not? Yeah, open the floor up for us a little bit, Bomberman. This is uh, this is not going to work out well for you. Oh, oh, I have po poison bombs. I thought the poison bombs made all bombs poison, but apparently I am mistook. Uh, two bombs. I could use keys. I'm really uh, kind of key deficient right now, ladies. This room feels like it's going to suck before it gets any better. So let's go ahead and pop our book of shadows now. Not take the obligatory damage if we don't have to. Hey, keys, asking you shall receive. Let's take a little peeksy doodle in here. Would happily take spirit hearts, but I'd be more happy. Uh, spiders are not where it's at. We need, uh, well, we don't need a whole lot. It gets awfully nitpicky of me to say we need this or we need that, but we definitely could use, uh, like, a tears up uh, damage up that doesn't slow down our, our rate of fire on tears would be nice as well. I've already been to a couple of. Yeah, what the hell? Let's let's get jiggy with it. Oh, cool. So that means we can go in here and buy this now, which makes me happy. And we'll uh, let's screw it. Let's let's go big. I want to see what's in these things. I kind of feel okay about that. I kind of feel okay about that. It's not like we're rolling rolling on permanent Polaroid invincibility. And if we get a chance to at some point, uh, there's nothing that says that we can't find an arcade and lose uh, half a heart before we go on our merry way. What the hell? We've been rolling all right. Ah, uh, Tammy said. All right, well, at least we'll get rid of that. And get our key right back, which is stellar. Drop a bomb here, pick up our small rock. Wow, Um. well, there's our, there's our, excuse me, there's our damage up we so desperately wanted. Oh, 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 let's see here. Best way to do this. I also like the fact uh, that I've been doing a lot of familiar runs lately, like a lot of runs where I'm just like, man, I got a buttload of familiars. And the problem with familiar runs, especially when you've got like nine things trailing you, like uh, I think at the time I had nine lives and I had like three familiars and I also had like a, a one up or something like that, uh, is that it becomes difficult to see. It becomes difficult to see exactly where uh, everything is. And so you lose yourself in the crowd, uh, AKA Eminem. I don't know. I just heard lose yourself and I was just like, Marshall Mathers! Slim Shady, baby! Uh, since I am so incredibly overpowered right now, I am going to bounce my way down here and take a, a looksy doodle into this room, which is full of my worst nightmares. But, uh, like I said, we are supremely overpowered for the caves part two, and we will take full advantage of that and also this pill, which is telepills, which means I got to backtrack to get my devil card because I may want to use it on this boss. Excited to be playing Spelunky. I, I tried to say this in the commentary, but every time I did something in the commentary of Spelunky, uh, a snake or spider or bat would come at me, and my asshole would tighten up like a snare drum, and my brain would lock as though I'd just seen the T-Rex from Jurassic Park uh, peeking through the window of my office. So I'm excited to be playing Spelunky just because it has a lot of the similar characteristics of a game like The Binding of Isaac. Let's just go ahead and do this, and we will just melt Gertie. 
melt Gertie with the passion of a million suns. The burning passion of an entire solar system full of suns. I think, if I'm not mistook, I'll take stem cells because we are slowly but surely kind of almost accidentally building up health. Let's go find the secret room. I mean, let's, let's really do this run up. I love Isaac, man. I cannot stop playing this game. I tried to get Woof into Boiler last night. Uh, it did not go well. Uh, as far as commentary, eh, as far as commentary goes, uh, Rob was very complimentary in the fact that he said Crumps, while well, all good and well, uh, was not uh, someone he enjoyed as much as he enjoyed Northern Lion or myself, and he uh, became instantly irritated with the fact that they took so much, uh, so much bad damage. Uh, in, in the interest of, oh, well, I gotta take bad damage, I'm in a racing, I'm in a racing format, so I have to play really recklessly. Let's open this first. Uh, that is an offensive, uh, I think that's Forever Alone? Yeah, uh, so it's an attack fly. Uh, it's the far away attack fly, which, uh, gives us a little bit of distance. We know that Greed is, not Greed, yeah, Greed is in our, our secret room, so that means that our shop's legit, which is super duper. Super duper, thanks for asking. Um, let's just uh, not let up on these nubs because I don't want them to spawn any more of their their hellish minions, uh, which haunt my dreams. Uh, there's part of me that kind of wants to go look at the library, and there's part of me that yeah, what the hell? How you live in Biggie Smalls and mansions and bins is giving ends to my friends, and it feels stupendous. Oh, I'm moving. Yeah. Oh, I, you know what? Ultimately, I think the, the, the success or failure of Spelunky hinges almost entirely on airplane noises. Like, that is a game where airplane noises are going to be the norm and not the exception. Um, so, yeah, I, I I understand enough about Spelunky to be dangerous, but not enough to be impressive yet. And hopefully we're going to fix that. I kind of wanted the Book of Rev. I kind of still do. We're going to do that. Yep, we're gonna switch it out and go with the Book of Rev because now we got hearts just flying off the handle. Uh, I would love a skeleton key if I was being 100% honest. I don't know who wouldn't. That's like saying I would like a winning lottery ticket. You don't really impress anybody with that kind of insight. Um, I'm not gonna screw with the blood bank just yet because I need to see what's in this shop. If, uh, if, oh god. Not today, blue spiky things of, of, of assholery. Which I think is what they're listed as in the credits. I'm pretty proud of myself. That's usually a situation where I would have taken some ridiculous uh, and absolutely useless damage. Uh, I need more keys. Nun's habit. That's got to happen. That's amazing. Uh, we'll pick up another key because I'm key poor, key deficient at the moment. Uh, and we'll we'll push our advantages here. We'll uh, oh god. Why do I hate you so much? Nuns have it with Booker Revs. So now every time I get hit I get a little bit of a recharge uh, I actually cannot lose health until I get down to the womb now because every two times that I get hit I'll come back with one more spirit heart um, It's a great pickup man. This is turning into a ridiculous run uh, I just don't want to get hit. I'm pretty fast like thanks to cat form. I'm pretty swift uh, I'm not too terribly worried about about Taking damage, and now I, I'm just steamrolling through this floor. I don't want to jinx myself, man. Hubris has brought uh, a much more swift and painful death to me. Um, I, have, I have died in more overpowered places than this just based on the fact that I'm just like, oh, I can't be killed. I'm invincible. And then I'm, it turns out I'm not invincible, uh, either in real life or in this game. So. We're doing pretty well. I re like a, just I, a golden key on this floor, uh, and I would be like a kid in a candy store. I'm not sure if or how that can even occur. I may even go fight greed just for the the giggles of it. I'm gonna hang out here just to be safe. Abel up there putting in work. Good for you, brother. I I am pleased with your efforts. Please me. So that ew, that's. Man, was that ever creepy sounding. I don't know that I'll ever go into my apparent serial killer slash date rapist voice again. I meant for it to sound very sort of Darth Vader, Emperor Palpatine, Super Greed. Okay, I'll fight Super Greed. Maybe he gives us the quarter. So if we ever do have to face, uh, if we ever have like a judgment that we want to deal with, then we, uh, we absolutely will have the resources with which to do that. And that's exactly how things pan out. Plus we get a key, which is uh, well worth our while. Um... Necropolis 1. I don't know that I'll need anything from a shop. I may just need an item room again. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Sad Onion. 100% worth it. 
fire rate is way the hell up. Uh, not going to open anything else because I do want to have a, a key left over for the item room. A couple of hearts laying about, so I will get aggressive and play this. Plus, uh, I'll get spirit hearts for uh, the red heart damage that I take, so... I would love to get the blood bag out of this, but beggars can't be choosers and I'm in a pretty damn good spot right now. So let's take our red heart of health. We actually will uh, intentionally get the piss slapped out of us here twice more. Uh, and in turn we will trade nuts. I was really hoping that that would have a different ending. There are other, other hearts on the floor. There are hearts over here, yes? Yeah! Alright, I, I just want one. I just want one. Just want one. Just the tip. Just the tip. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Alright, so let's go play the blood bank two more times, and then two more times. And then they tell two friends. And then they tell two friends. Alright, well, I, you can't stop, won't stop. Nobody gonna break my stride. Nobody gonna hold me down. Oh no, I got to keep on spamming. So we're not losing any health here, we're just transferring it into spirit heart form. Uh, that did not pan out, so what we are going to do is blow this thing straight to hell. And in return we get uh, basically our health up. We did not get the blood bag and that's totally fine. We get the eternal heart which is buried under about 34 uh, spirit hearts at the moment, so I'm not too terribly concerned about it uh, going away. If it goes away then I as a commentator and a gameplay person have failed you uh, in a don't starve-esque fashion. Uh, people expect me to suck balls that don't starve. They do not expect me to totally suck balls at Isaac like this. So, oh, that was horrible. Man, eh, what the hell. Necropolis part one, who's our victim? Oh, good, we get our uh, Cuba meat. We get a, a, oh god, okay. We get our second level Cuba meat, which is A-OK -okay by me. Uh, we shouldn't melt this poor bastard. Yeah, come, why don't you come get some, buddy? You come and you tell me how, how this fight in particular is working out for you. Technically, we got to deal with the devil. I don't know exactly what we give him. I, let's let's health up and find out. Kind of want it to be Krampus, not Krampus. We I, I, do we go for the 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 guppy quadfecta? Um, basically, it's do I trade my two hearts for spirit of the night, which would basically be ethereal tears. The ability to shoot through rocks. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because we uh, we do have the Nun's Habit. We do have the Book of Rev. Uh, and I would like to get to permanent Polaroid invincibility. So I do not feel bad about that at all. Um, plus, I can hide out over rocks and shoot at the same time. Which does not sound like a big deal, but actually is. We will go down to that arcade and uh, get rid of our half heart. Uh, ultimately though, this is uh, shaping up to be a ridiculous run. This is one of those fun runs that you're just like, every vanilla runs a challenge, except for this one. Uh, I, I, uh, the chances of success at this point, 234%. Uh, well, oh god, no, 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 ah! I can't believe I, I, I got stuck in my, in my Zelda animation there. That's unfortunate. That's the first damage we've taken since the, the basement level floors, which um, I think is, if I'm not mistaken, is actually an achievement for us because we got through the uh, we got through the caves without taking damage, which puts us puts us one step closer to Platinum God, which I still do not have. So um, who knows? Maybe you know. I, I was actually kind of uh, hoping that we could get through both of those at once, but uh, twas not in the cards. Uh, the game itself has, has, has decreed it so, so, um, in the back of my head, that, that entire time I was just like, alright, don't get hurt on the caves, now don't get hurt on Necropolis, now don't, uh, so I'm a little bit bummed, I'm not super bummed, but I'm a little bit bummed, the balls of steel, sure, why not, let's go in here and see what we're getting from our boss trap room, mom's coin purse, yeah, I'll absolutely look in on that, and piss all over Chubb, golden showers, anybody in the mood for a golden shower, Chubb, you look, you look like you can use one. We will leave all these pills on the floor because there's no sense in taking silly damage. Pete, uh, you picked the wrong day to come into work, brother. What can I say? We will uh, just melt him, just absolutely throttle him. Uh, we're at a place now, too, where we have the orbital and the cube of meat that's also doing damage. Uh, let's take our pills. Friends till the end. Not as useful. We'll take it with... No, we won't take it with us. Telepills. We know that that's there. 
Wow, there was another. I didn't even see the other chest. What's this? Health up. Okay. This is a pretty goofy good room. Uh, let's 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 pop friend or let's pop telepills just to see where it takes us. Uh, it, it took us here. Where is here? Where are we? Man, we are just shitting on this entire game right now. Um, pop the book of rev. I'm out of keys. Oh, good, because I'm right here at the arcade. So let's get some keys. I need keys. I love gold. Uh, we'll definitely take the curved horn over Mom's pearl, which will give us uh, added damage. Uh, unfortunately, that's not a normal slot machine. I was kind of hoping for it because uh, let's just do here. Yay, keys! Uh, now we can go to the shop. Matter of fact, let's do that now because it's not like I really need to sit here and play anything ever again. Uh, 46 cents. I might as well. Oh, well, I don't know why I paid full price. Yay, nothing costs anything anymore. I'm going to look it all up. Why not? Hey, and there's our death card back. So, uh, we have keys. Might as well. So many devil cards. Why? Por que, Maria? Por que? Uh, this is why I picked up Spirit of the Night, uh, was literally just for what we're doing right now, which is to hide out over rocks and shoot out of them at the same time. Uh, way more useful to me, uh, than hiding out on rocks and, I don't know, hoping that Kane does stuff. I'll just play this for a second. Oh, okay. I just, uh, I kinda want more keys. Like, I'm not in a place where I- Hey! The Pretty Fly is amazing. I'm Pretty Fly. Let's- ah, okay, I'm good. Two orbitals, cat form. All this nonsense. We we are in a good spot. Actually, if I just hang out here, there's no way they can hit us. But we are we are rolling right now. So I, I don't know why I'm really all that concerned about it. At this point, it should become kind of a speed run, unless I'm being like totally greedy. Goat hoof is nice and all, but meh. All right, let's just let's just go to the boss. Let's let's get it over with. There was part of me that was really hoping I could get out of this floor without taking any uh, any actual damage, but. Uh, here we are, and so we did, and so let's just slap Mom. Maybe we'll get hurt here, too, and I'll feel a little bit better about what went down. Or we'll absolutely pee on Mom. It's gross. It's the grossest arrangement of words that may have ever, ever left my mouth. Uh, shit. So that one hit we took from a neutral fly ends up being the difference. Um, that's, that's disheartening. All right, well... Like I said, I feel like we should have gotten the cave's achievement. We'll see. Dark Boy should be ours. Uh, that's something that I've been waiting a long time on. Um, the neutral fly, man. It feels like it shouldn't count. Uh, we won't pop the moon here, which is the secret room, mostly because there's just a mini boss in there waiting for us. Uh, we've already gotten uh, Womb Boy, or whatever the hell it's called. We've, we've gone Mama's Boy, I think, uh, because we have managed to get through the womb without getting hit before. Uh, I think that mostly came out of. Uh, that mostly came out of. Uh, I think mom's knife and flying one time, and I just uh, made this level my bitch. So, I forgot we had the Book of Rev. Keys are good. We'll definitely take consumables. Uh, plenty of bombs, but uh, if we get to the. If we get. When we get to the chest, we'll want keys. Uh, not that we really need the help right now, but. Yeah, I'm going to save keys. I'm going to try my best to save keys at this point. Come and get them, ladies. So, um, yeah, so now it's all just kind of, what are you? You're new. Oh, 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 who's this? Bad guess. All right. We'll take the moon card, go in here. Uh, I guess we'll take our third level keep a meat. Nah, you know what? I'm going to skip it. I'm going to hold on to the defensive orbital in the second level keep a meat, which is not, uh, not usually a strategy I work on. Uh, I'm, I'm not usually that concerned with like, oh, I have to up my Isaac strats, but, uh, we are in a situation where, uh, we only have the two defensive orbitals. He's actually extra offensive output. So I'm going to leave him behind because I don't really need the third Cuban meat running around. Do I? Ah, what the hell? Come on, Wuffles Jr., let's go. You and me, buddy. Like I said, we're so ridiculously overpowered right now that I just I feel like it's almost selfish to be looking at the game and saying, What can you do for me, game? How can I up my min max level on this game to. To further destroy you, so 
you know, you don't get to see the... Uh, oh, God, don't kick it out of the way. I am really nervous, though, like I'm playing with Rob. Like, I'm either worried he's going to wander off and need an adult later on, um, or I'm worried that he's going to kick a bomb back at me and be like, Hey, look what I found! Look what I found, Dad! So... So now, really, it, it just is how fast can we get through this? And fortunately for us, the compass was everything and more when it comes to the pickups. So uh, let's uh, let's pee. Oh, I, why am I obsessed with golden showers today? <laughs> let's deal. Let's deal with a let's deal with a mom fight. Get this over with as, as fast as humanly possible. Uh, we still never got any real damage ups, but that doesn't change the fact that we are uh, destroying this game right now. Uh, I mean. The real damage of this cat form, which gives us the basically the mulligan, um, the ability to uh, shoot flies up out of face. Oh god. Okay. Well, uh, Meat Boy helps us out by kicking the bomb at us there. He just wants to be involved. He's just desperate for your love. I'm not even gonna worry about the bombs here. This is a no-brainer. Yay! Right, right arrow. Okay. Um, up to the cathedral. Oh god. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, children. Too much damage, too fast. Fortunately, we get our heart right back. Thank you, uh... Oh, right. For a split second, I honest to god looked at these and was just like, I don't understand these... I don't understand these enemies. Are these, like, advanced hoppers? And then it, 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 it's greed. Why would it not be greed? Why would my mind not instantly register, hey, that's greed. You fought him a kerjillion times, which I think is a method of measurement from Star Trek. Uh, we have four keys, which means we have enough, uh, oh god, oh god. I'm doing too much damage. I walk through and into a room like this and just, I melt whatever's in front of me, and there's no real, uh, exit strategy. So, um, like I said, Nun's Habit, huge pickup. I don't think I've seen the Nun's Habit in a long time. This is a wonky little run. I, like, I'm having a blast, but the, the, the way in which we built this character was, uh, yeah, untraditional, to say the least. Uh, Gertie Jr. can sit and spin. See, that time I would have more than happily taken the uh, big green explosion to the face, but uh, nothing do nothing doing, nothing for me. Uh, long walk to the boss fight here. Just trying my best to make sure to always be firing. Always be closing. Put that coffee down, that coffee's for closers. If you haven't seen Glen Gary Glenn Ross and you fancy yourself a fan of... Yeah, it's a it's a movie based on a play, but it has a ridiculous cast. It's not going to be for everyone. It's certainly not going to be for everyone in my target audience age range. But uh, guys that came over from like PA, uh, guys that are like old school, rough around the edges, like I love Taffy because Taffy's gruff and surly like I am. Uh, you should definitely give Glenn Gary, Glenn, Glenn Ross a look. Uh, Jack Lemmon, Kevin Spacey, Alec Baldwin has one of the best uh, monologues in the history of film in that one, and it's Al Pacino and Alan Arkin, and uh, Ed Harris is in it. Uh, great movie. Put that coffee down. That coffee is for closers. A, B, C, always be closing. Always be closing. If you're not closing the deal, you are shit. Hit the bricks. Ah, uh, so good. Sorry, I'm, my head's stuck in how awesome Alec Baldwin... Uh, what, what am I doing? Why am I even messing with this? Boom, boom, yay. Boom, 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 shining bright. Boom, 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 my sunlight. It's one of my kids' nursery rhymes that I've got stuck in my head right now. Go, Meat Boy, go. Not doing a ton of damage. Uh, our fire rate's super good, and these flies are amazing. Uh, Meat Boy is constantly melting. Uh, we have health so far off the screen that if I were to see a heart, I would consider that like losing the game. Like That would be, to me, the equivalent of like, oh, we lost. We might as well just turn the game off now. Um, I had one of these runs. One, blah, 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 blah. I had one of these runs the other day where I was actually talking to Rob on Skype while I was playing for a fun run, and uh, I was talking to Rob while I was uh, on Skype for a fun run, and 100% uh, uh, just just for shits and giggles popped a telepills on the chest and did in fact send myself to the I am era room. Uh, I'm not even going to worry about too much of a victory lap. All right, let's open presents. PhD, don't need it, but I'll take it. Shit. Okay. Polyphemus? Eh, what the hell. Little Chad. Polyphemus. <laughs> oh, asking you shall receive. Let's go melt this guy. 
Wow, that's just, uh, that shit seems unfair. We have cat form, polyphemus, uh, mom's knife, uh, book of rev, nun's habit. I, I just, uh, I just, I, I don't even. Who does that? Who does that, Nooch? Who does that? Side note, uh, Nooch thought it was really funny yesterday, uh, and it was. Uh, ultimately, one day there will be a day that I will laugh about the fact that yesterday my, my two-year-old son, Grayson, was standing on top of a $600 audio video receiver that was in my living room, and the warmth of the air coming up from it uh, made him comfortable, so he peed, and the pee went down into the receiver and shorted it out, so now I have a $600 paperweight. And I was furious. I'm going to finish the story before I go in. I was furious, and I was about as angry as I've ever been with him. And I was, you know, I had to do some disciplining and everything. Um, but I tell that because a lot of you may have seen that because I tweeted it out yesterday, and I guess it was a pretty popular tweet. Um, but today he felt so bad that when he woke me up, he woke me up with a cup of coffee and then sang the Beatles to me and then asked if I, if I had become happy again. Uh, and I told him, in fact, that I was. So he had made me a happy, happy man by singing the Beatles to me. Uh, All my loving, I will send to you. Yeah, that was like he woke me up with that. So uh, Grayson and I are all, all good in the hood again. Uh, let's go melt blue baby. Your face, your face, blue baby. I ain't afraid of you. Your face. Yeah, it's that's. Psh. GG, there'll be plenty of re's. Uh, we'll consider the walk to the chest the victory lap because that was OP as all hell, uh, but a lot of fun. So I am going to go put a shower on and go get some food and see what I can maybe accomplish with the rest of my day. Thank you guys for tuning in. Always have fun playing for you. We'll see what we can do about challenge runs once I kind of figure out exactly how boned I am with graduate school. Uh, I will stay here though, you will continue to get videos if I have to wake up an extra hour early to get it done uh, and go on four hours of sleep, that will happen. I am dedicated to you just as you are dedicated to me. On behalf of the Mr. Wuffles channel and the cave, my name is Taffy, thank you for tuning in, and I am 